Lemos, en fonction de toi, dans ton travail de sculpture, mais bon, en tant que dans leur matérialité, et aussi ces, ces passages euh, entre les langues. Euh, voilà, et on a voulu que les mots aussi les dans les Merci Katinka et Christophe. Je suis vraiment contente d'être invitée de lire un texte euh, parmi cette exposition absolument géniale. J'espère que vous avez déjà eu la chance de circuler et euh, regarder ces images et les relations entre les images. Si les œuvres céramiques qui sont très souvent hommage au ou bien or, euh, ici et là. Euh, J'ai vu cette expo avec Katin Kastor pour la première fois il y a trois semaines maintenant, peut-être deux ou trois semaines. Et euh, c'était à ce moment que j'ai fait connaissance de vous deux, comme vous savez. Et euh, de voir et discuter avec Katinka, ce qu'elle fait, et euh, un peu euh, comprendre un peu la texture, euh, mais la place de l'image dans son œuvre, qui est plutôt une œuvre sculpturelle. Mais aussi, j'ai appris que Katinka fait des publications. Ça s'appelle comment encore Katinka Wonders. Donc, ce, ce sont des grandes publications comme ça, un peu sur le papier de journal, je dirais, ce genre de papier. Sans texte, il n'y a pas un mot, mais des montages vraiment, euh, vraiment génial qui, qui fait des essais. Pour moi, c'est très filmique de voir ça. C'est une espèce de marque que je vois aussi en circulant dans, dans, ces, euh, dans, dans ces salles. Donc, en réfléchissant sur le travail et la langue de l'image, ce que j'ai compris un peu chez Katinka, j'ai fait un choix de trois textes et il y aura le deuxième texte sera un, un extrait de The Hut que Katinka a expliqué un petit peu, qui fait partie de mon livre euh, Le plus beau. Et je, ce que je voudrais dire sur le poème concret, sur la couverture, est fait par une, par une grande amie, Kathy Slade. C'est un artiste de Vancouver qui travaille beaucoup avec des textes et des styles et les publications. Donc, euh, j'ai invité Kathy Slade me faire une couverture et euh, elle me fait ça et il y a le dos qui est génial aussi le dos qui qui dit whatever dares to read just one page is a lost girl but she can't blame it on this book she was already et enfin ça c'est ma traduction de Rousseau j'ai dit « traduction un peu » entre guillemets. Euh, donc, je vais lire de ce livre deuxièmement et euh, je vais commencer avec un autre poème. Tous les, tous les trois sont des textes qui, qui, qui essaient de monter une pensée de l'image. C'est quoi une image que, 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 que fait les images Donc, euh, voilà. Mais pour commencer, je vais lire les, les trois, euh, c'est quoi le mot, exergue, je ne sais pas, euh, ce livre, qui sont également mes traductions euh, de trois textes en français. Et j'ai dû apporter les textes en français pour les lire en français, mais j'ai eu cette idée vraiment au dernier instant, je ne pouvais pas. Donc, c'est un... un Trois citations de Rousseau, Michel Bernstein, l'écrivain situ, situationniste, et Émile euh, Benveniste, le linguiste que j'aime tant. Uh, the ebb and flow of this water sound continuous, but lapping with distances that ceaselessly caught up my ear and my eyes 
replaced the interior emotions reverie had quenched in me and sufficed to me pleasurably sense my existence without troubling to think. Jean-Jacques Rousseau, and mais ça, ça vient de, de rêverie d'une première santé. Michel Bernstein, at the age we've now reached, which is that of experimentation with new structures, with new syntheses, it is no longer time to fight the values of the world with neo-Dadaist refusal. Whether those values are ideological, artistic, or even financial, we need to unleash inflation everywhere. And from Emile Benveniste, and I believe this is from his notes on Baudelaire, the final unachieved text, um, qui est sorti il y a huit ans, neuf ans peut-être, d'une maison d'édition à Limoges, mais c'est absolument génial parce que ce sont des réductions de ces uh, pages manuscrites, ce sont des petits uh, notes uh, à la main, donc des reproductions puis des transcriptions uh, par l'éditeur. Et uh, c'est un grand bouquin. Et il avait l'idée d'écrire un texte sur uh, la langue de Baudelaire, mais il est... Il est tombé malade et euh, aphasique, en effet, et il ne pouvait plus, euh, plus travailler. Mais il a dit, « Far before it communicates, language is for living. » Pour les livres de poésie, J'ai invité des euh, amis qui sont, sont artistes de faire les couvertures. Donc, ils sont tous des collaborations, en, en quelque sorte. Et là, d'un coup, j'ai enlevé le montage parce que je suis un peu nerveuse. <rire> Donc, il faut reprendre, re, voilà. Donc, là, la couverture, c'est de Hadley Howells et Max Stevens. Et je vais lire un texte qui s'appelle « An Awning ». C'est quoi « An Awning » en français un, Non, ça, c'est un uh, « blind », un « star ». C'est quoi « An Awning » Quoi Marquise Non, oh, no, Oui, voilà. J'aime bien cette partie d'une architecture qui est uh, temporaire, textile, uh, un peu frou-frou, quoi. Donc, j'ai écrit ce texte called An Awning uh, avec Hadley, mais pas exactement avec Hadley House, mais ça vient d'une longue conversation qu'on a eue ensemble dans une voiture uh, à la campagne. On, uh, on, on a on a dû aller pour prendre le train et ça, ça, prend, ça prend plus d'un heure de trajet. Et pendant on a discuté, c'est quoi la différence entre une idée et euh, la pensée. Et euh, c'était aussi une euh, réflexion sur la question de c'est quoi yeah. an awning for Hadley Howells. Howes. Howes is a Toronto artist whose career was formed in Vancouver. He lived for a long time in Berlin and uh, taught at Pete Ward Institute in Rotterdam. We're essentially tent stained, palpably sparkly. Reflection opacity and fraudulence join in our mouths. Begin the play. Glorious ignorance soaks the whole scene. Look at the act by the yellow, red, and green awnings suspended over a vast theater. It's intrinsically rippling. Take everything lustrous into this tent 
curative fruiting, smooth and naked constellations, whole seas of fleets, shininess of art, dresses, holy fakes, all the then spawn each category of light craving arrival. This is often done yellow and red and purple awnings when outspread above faces. Definitively, curiously resplendent, insouciant protestation. Here, tone is a humor in the pagan sense. Hegel scorned the women who undertake experimental metaphysics while walking in God's sound bleed and image bleed, ragweed and sum. We were driving the car. I said that my work had gone fugitive. We talked about the difference between an idea and thought. We said that an idea goes and goes, while thinking continues until death, we supposed. So we recognize the guest. She seems to crack open time a little. She despises yearning and duration. She just really wants to purge something. It gives us the freedom to keep working, you said. Or the idea like fashion, a portable proportion shifts. We were driving through culture and villages and towns, the light slicing the land diagonally. It was 4.30 p.m. in late winter. And as I waited to merge onto the truck road, we probably in anyone's life there is really only one idea, two at most. Queenly, this signature repeats. Suddenly, a strange and simple thing will glint. The inversion of architecture to reveal the floral surface, or the conversion of some fleeting accessory to a method. Rotation as advance, density is an idea the luxury of somebody napping in the other room? I mean, is it a logical serendipity? Or does it wobble being present comedically recognized by a sillage of decay or of lilies? Yesterday, the car windshield had been splattered with mud, and now the Scrim refracted so that light came lily like by other senses. And we continued to wonder about the difference between thinking and a lily. After all, very slight, a very inclement thing, becoming commodious after the glamming. There is a figure field relationship between glamming and dying. This is the sad and bright window. Then a view of the global city appeared after a curve in the road. Then I craned my neck out over the grave to look at the pale coffin dressed as it was in petals. I claimed how I loved it. It was a fairly ancient city, we said. It translates all our senses. Each day, we receive the body of gentle light, not burning. This sentience passes through our muscles to the soul, brushed by the pupils. It borrows the motion of anything. In order for the female soul to be reached, the vibration of this queen being here. Sometimes the next morning we just puke light. Is the actualization of transparency, Aristotle chatted, 
or was it peaches or Bjork? Puking is cathartic. Light is the color of this great, sweet, imminent female distance. Grama dramatic again and continuous like a seven-year storm at sea. Air is a visual instrument, whispered Galen or Etel. The visual spirit radiating from a is conveyance itself. Olivia or Cicero, but the air is woven from glances. In the relationship of light and vision, in the middle of this turbulent interior life, in the ceremony of this chewing substance, we find energy very mystical. Glamour, true subject of the idea. We know substance because it lives. We can't stand or speak anymore. Stacy theorized that etymologically, hormones are star slime. Everything produces rays, star, promised El Kindi and Leslie. Especially internally, words can leave and exude. For a long time, I sip from their gazes. As wood expresses smoke and fire heat, as paradoxes are grafted into the models, as grasshoppers disrobe quite sensuously in summer, as a call of glitter slips from a calf, things free from their surfaces, extremely pale forms like kimonos or curtains in an economy withheld from duration. And so we meet the dead in our sleep, or we think and are with the grace of these assistants to live as freely as possible. The flat warehouses extend forever. Warehouses made of cinders containing cinder blocks. Let's decorate their warehouses, our anciently scorned thinking. Always something flows fatally from surface, streaming outwards with smoothness from a rapid origin, with thinness in many ways all at once, with velocity in a very brief and moist time, with minuteness which instantly follows inexpressibly, with rare actions so easily penetrating by gliding and diffusing, with a swift lightness, truly and preeminently and marvelously without slackening, particularly what feel like to sway in the dark. Now again streaming, they brush our pupils and pass into like air, like color, like fingers, little by little, they give us the image of our bodies as ideas bobbing and melting and incessantly changing shape. We're about to convert ourselves into all manner of lilies. They caress our pupils. Is all epistemology metaphorical? Ideas as images which are not time. They palely bounce feet down coffin wood within our own unspoken desire and compulsion, quite of assignment, and despite the inclement representations, the fear of an idea is having its breast stroked, just enough to subvert the conditions of trend, not wanting to reproduce a friendship, but to repeat it. Homes, humor-like, are produced by light in order to unaccountably transform us. We're shocked 
by the popularity of stiffly pointing downward. So yes, we're turning tree-like, light materially extending three dimensions, shooting green rays from our branches. Therefore, it's corporeal form, the original cinema. Its awning casts the quivering hue on every ever feel. Every idea is an intense duct-like repetition. Theater in the garden or in the car throws very glam pedal movement. It lights a precariousness. Dawn finds us. The morning cool. We arrive here at six in the morning. Day opens. An ovoid vase, an ovoid vase with twisted ribbing, an ovoid vase, green, green, clear, a slab, a a cylinder, a massy plaster cloud. Sun slips. The one body wide muscle speaks. Cross the room to walk toward a voice. Voice entering the city says, because the, there is no city, we things. If we can't usefully describe artifice as transcendence, die a, of money and the realism of constraint. These ideas have n nothing to do with belief. The day tried for B Baudelaire, I had been drinking a little. The discovery that there is no orthodoxy, it took place in w which hotel? I no longer uh, understood my face. I did not then know that the, the metaphysical phenomena, which I then d discovered that I possessed would become my dearest possession. I was ambitious uh, and tired. I began with the assumption that the work was already complete, so anything could be added to it. Black ink shall be used on white paper. Blue ink sh shall be used. Violet ink shall be used on ivory paper, also dull pencil. Eternal sadness regarding lost, grand, unfinished projects, their belated discovery. This shall be flaunted inexpertly. I could almost hear the ping of moths against the lamps near the public garden. Now the public garden takes the form of everyone's kiss. Neoliberal ideals are completely non-erotic. The fullest dire I can I imagine sways in the light. I am asked to think about something that doesn't exist. Time in the descript splashes upward in a continuous ceremony. You must sw sweet your liver by meditating on a f fleck of what the art of n not perishing is a th thrill. Three crows pluck out the eyes of it all. Whoever isn't 
terrified isn't listening. How a woman knows how to listen to the world depends on an overview of the research as perceived from the edge of sleep. This is self-knowledge. I think of the time death appeared one morning in the bachelor apartment near the bridge. I was 26. I needed to into myself the experience of time at the edges of rooms, disappearing as heard in order to see th those rooms again, their mortal den. I must forget everything, simultaneously e evoking and dismissing the supposed f femininity of time. Maybe I was desireless. By making myself into an image according to the cu culture's self-consciousness, according to my idleness, a quorum of problems ripened, half visionary, half spurious, as Madame Blavatsky. The room produced images, but they did not yet coalesce. My heart became capable all forms. I wanted to be a co-inhabitant -in of the possible language. Possible tin hut with blue plastic rain barrel. Kopi top of hard green peaches. Moss clad corrugated asbestos shed roof. Rain blackened cinder block of the dead neighbor's workshop, grove of river bamboo, my piffling, squandering description, finds a snag in the, the present tense. The spokes of thinking itch make in me a silence that glows like a lamp, like a bad taste. It is still uh, only morning in my concept of philical style, and I feel in my self the shimmer of un but habitual submission, a little bit like love, a little bit like God. Here I was in the idle pleasure of two pages slightly skimming or rather than reading. Here I was as me, fragile and ghostly, berry glutted, subsong, black bird, invisible. The songs are berry gorged and are not served to. I'll prove nothing else. Everything I know about the blackbird is this. Maybe waiting is the uh, only method. It isn't false. A blackbird sings for 21 seconds of it. There are 5.4 months of song. 189 days in song season. 137 days of uh, uh, abundant song. There is pr presence in expression, brutal and lusty and of elastic conventions. Improvisation is one tangent. Repetition is another. Between in intuition and how, between birds, and their Latin, between putting out bird seed and pulling thistles, here I am, one who f finds happiness.
d difficult. We think we know about kitchen tables, but we know n nothing about kitchen tables. How will it be possible to make a politics free of all legitimacy? We live ab abundantly and die between neutrality and chaos. There is a murmur of note taking. March ending and April was beginning. Everything kept crawling into the hole of a foot in order for it to be in time because it loves poetry, which does not uh, accord with popular taste. Contrive to almost forget even rhyme in order to be received, to be in time, I only have to repeat prosaically who gathers the wind, who holds the wind, who reaps the wind, the wind so belated as to be defunct since 1209, there is not poetry. There is a nostalgia for a m moment in which poetry was re or, or brief time of the poem, very long, to the extent that it loses its identity in relation to an exclusion and forever swims against the current. Poetry is ex exceptional quotation. We don't leave be behind our con It was May again, M Mo the spring of 2021. I said, I'll think with wigs. How long do I get? As the flower is a measure, the flower is so forcibly present. I will d describe flowers, which is to say the iris, the v varieties of edge, edge be becoming light. They do not waste the, their striving in duration. They have no good nor evil disposition. The fact of the direction of the iris could mean something b between duration and will. In the week when s swallows enter the house, all voice says the soul holds the warmth crushed grass where the deer lay before bounding off at my approach. Flowers draw the light to earth. They have avoided repetition. In the night, the, the iris is a soul who weeps and goes singing. You can cheat m me of everything except this song. Sky blue, golden, green, gray, blue, saffron, amethyst, gray, ch chestnut, brown, pink, e yellow, like wax, iris. Through the iris, the inanimate speaks to the animate, and the animate speaks to the inanimate. When a person speaks to her own intelligence, that is prose. And sometimes love sp speaks like a human creature, and that is rhyme. It yields a greeting. It is plain wi without being divided. I want divided. 
I do not divide. Love and the subtle heart are one thing, it be divided. I make myself into two with a bring like firstness. Love's intelligence is such. Some things are free, but di difficult. What if there is al already no freedom? Now the sky is putty colored, utter didact, outer didact. What can you say about the world? 365 day symposium in my dream of indifference to speak sh shiver and forget is all I want and the mist pouring to the yard at dawn slowly and repeatedly f finding geology at dawn we work with a matter that resists us Solid magnifies. Tenderness is patient. We are each on the edge of an invisible abyss. Orange, brown, and bead brilliant. Or green variants beneath mist. My strategy was to occupy the site of shame as verse does in the snow on the branches and cold light on the ancient threefold vision of love within the commodious model no other category no other twig the condition for the, the liberation of love was down by mystics. The sonnet is a political refuge. In we learn to temper resistance with desire, to temper desire with resistance, so neither dissembles into force. Moral abundance is as wide as rhyme. Like this, my Absurd youth was used up, assembling the d dense sensorium possible. Every one of us exiled, mongrel c creature reason, mongrel world. We have to b be speakers. We still n need to love. Return explicitly to the problem of beauty, which I had s set to the side. Before 1848, Baudelaire said beauty was modern. After 1852, he said, Beauty was imaginary. When the revolution failed, what had belonged to the city could now reside only in person, if the imagination is personal. Now I th think it isn't. One room passes through another room. There was a feeling of being held as if weighted on a sill that I would never lose. All my effort poured into the wish to enter that mysterious and desired place. I had a little bit of money and mistaken sense of freedom. I had my devotion. I thought it was rare. I wanted the whole world feeling of a minimalist nature be completed by a, an avant-gardist in 1986. Bright gray dawn, light covered us lightly like a sheet. 
a clearing, a haze drew back. I've been here before, but haven't, to write novels about poetry might be the remaining task. I couldn't arrive at an image of how it happened, and then it, it happened. And now it is behind me, but also I'm in it, sea-like, far out, floating. I go to a clearing in woods to breathe. Breath n knows her, and her image accompanies, as usual, as her exemplary pleasure in the silky lamp with farouche perfumes, belt of stiff g grief and collar. Now throat is strict and there is no consolation. A woman barks. What's the little sill be between speech and song? Technology of a gentle heresy whose soul in intent is to widen the possibilities of moral experience, moral experience of a dog, moral I experience of a black, moral I experience of a robin. Be fabulous and for the dog, the b black bird, the robin. There's a clicking sound from the upper foliage and the presence of what's ungrievable. Tree gatherers uh, and snail gatherers, their future is modeled on the irregularity of the present, her pale, a moon of white plastic. She's up uh, and she's a flower. She doesn't wake up. The earth hungry. She wakes up and she's a flower. She d doesn't wake up. The art of peace uh, are unrecognized, but inventive even in dirty. Rhyme does not contract. She does not extract. The landscape of the invisible becomes visible. I decide in the dream that I can be dead and alive at the same time, which seems t to be the case. In what sense does she cohere? As day c coheres, she is day now, although she's b beneath the earth. In rhyme, that is, her entire b b glances, then the sky deepens dimly gleaming indigo, the, uh, against it brighter, the trees blacker. In the fable of Robin and the Fox, they don't know why females sing. Real object works as a foldable object, like the shadowy d door in a courbet thing. Behind the uh, absent Jeanne Duval, she has taken the d d to leave the image. A door was standing open in the image, exposing the poem. I've used up my prose now. The sheet is lightly creased, like sea m moving over my body, like an impure repetition. Everything will be the s same without my Identical. I'll be the feminine man wh whose joy resists all appropriation. I'll include the uh, idea of untimeliness. Though the narrative is of time, time being the t technical material, this is the end of the Olive Green Notebook. Now, in the em embossed cloth notebook, thing like resistance is neither useful nor useless, so it is 
like desire, inhuman. By ta page eight, the question of desire is dropped. What happened b between 1966 and 1970? Be careful, careful now. What is transmitted when the, the cosmology is treated? A form lopped off. Whatever can be transmitted in the general context of force. I feel the whole rush of my blonde grandmother pass through me in an instant. I'd like to make a legitimate contra to uncertainty. All around me are f fabulous materials. In the distance, I hear a comment. I know that femininity is to outlive one's worth. Because I am uh, obsolete, I can change. I have three hearts, and they are they uh, are dear, hearts uh, are dear. They are wearing heads of deer. I recognize them through the fence. We exist in per perverse conditions. We women, whatever women are or dear. Now it is hard for me to say what I am. The f fact is I would make each Mistake again if I had the choice. It is a sh shocking recognition, completely freeing. The doubling is novelistic. To sit in a chair uh, and do nothing, sometimes to write a few words as I observe m my own decay. It is fur. Now I think only of distance. I wake early to watch the mist burn off. It does, doesn't burn off, but settles in the yard as I putter and plunder on this earth knit of nerves. This also is comedy. Politics is too limiting a concept. Now I withdraw from the limiting boulevards, although I do enjoy them in a minute. Every part of t time is this. Tr I will become its conspirator to enjoy the sensation of my mind transforming. The greenness of the world keeps producing more green, says Monica de la Torre. I open my uh, empty hand, so my joy incomparable as a doe as bright as snow, as the earth shall riddle the edge of distraction, as a moth no god, this is my ambition. Every good day I go to the sentence. Yesterday I did not. I put my hands into my clothes. The earth goes still. Inside the sentence, there's a tree. There's a bird that whinnies like a horse at dawn. One field breaks into a oh, or cross another field. These days I am voracious. Now veer away from my beliefs about my body. And if I become unintelligible to myself because of having refused to believe, I transcribe a subsection like the accidental folds of a scarf. From these folds I make persons, perfect marriage of accident and need. And if I become intelligible to myself because of having refused to need, I transcribe
substitution to lose the unattainable, like the ancient fall of a scarf. Now I occupy the design. Thank you.